Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Spicy Topic coming to you again to debunk another one of Carbonation's lies. Let's get into it. Those of you who may not be aware of who this woman is, she's young. She left her newborn baby to be raised by her adoptive family members but yet she consistently preaches these messages that one would think you are talking you preach it to the choir and you're talking about yourself i want y'all to check out some of her latest sermon because i can't deal with all of it and then let's get into her own demons that she still has yet to go back and tackle let's go Oh, you thought this was going to be easy. You thought the spiritual journey was just going to be walking the park, sitting out in nature, relaxing, chilling, being one, connecting, eating fruit, drinking water. Nah. It's healing the mind. It's healing those generational curses. It's healing with the, your family, your past family, your, 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 your parents' parents didn't heal. You're healing all of their traumas. You're healing all of their bullshit. You're healing everything they ran from. You're healing everything that they checked out of. Checked out on. You're healing everything that they just set to the side, pushed to the side, and said, you know what? I'm going to deal with this later. I'm not going to do this right now. I'm not going to deal with this right now. I'm going to go over here, go to the bar. I'm going to go over here, go to a party. I'm going to go over here, go to my girlfriend's house. They didn't want to deal with this shit. They didn't want to deal with it because they know this is too tough. They run from their emotions. They run from being being bone. The person that is not overcome from their own issues have no business trying to give wisdom and teach somebody anything. Okay, let's revisit her history a little bit, a snippet of what she does in carbonation. Let's talk about how she sleeps with multiple, dif two different people links up with two different people in their little carbonation call how she's pulled out of her relationship with nature boy whenever eliana leaves which we all know that are involved or listen to these videos she's pulled out from that direct emotional bond to be forced to connect with the other guy there how can you dare try to teach somebody to and, and you know anything about them running from their past and, and how do you focus on parents past and grandparents past when you left your own newborn baby who cannot fend for himself let's remind the people where you came from just this year just this year alone take a look people what you're about to see is about four months ago this is him for one he's not attractive to me he's actually looks nasty and he's disgusting to me he tries extra hard he reminds me of one of those guys that strip look how funny looking he look he's not that attractive y'all gotta stop being caught off by features because it kind of gets to your head you forget to think about what you're getting into because you're so attracted she is so into him this is eliana and you know this if you've been following this story what's disgusting is they do this stuff in front of his and her daughter they they do this this doesn't look wrong to a child but when you add another woman in this confuses a child and what you're about to witness is malia she's in the room and he's about to pull her over as Eliana shows all this affection to him. It's, it's just really backwards and mixed up. It's just disgusting. And here is Malia joining this dance thing. They had some slow music playing, which I can't play. But it's just a demonstration to show you who this girl is. I get the feeling that she also is the demon that tried to turn out Eliana. I don't feel bad for Eliana because she makes her choices. She leaves. She comes back. It's on her ass. It's on you. No one feels sorry for your ass if you fall and bust your ass. Because you had opportunities to get free of this. You know it's wrong because that's why you're leaving so much. She's left multiple times. And when she left some of those times, she went live. And she talked badly about the situation and told everybody how wrong it was. One can only imagine that they had a lustful night after that. Because they was really affectionate for a minute. They, they was on a video a minute dancing, kissing each other in front of the baby and doing all of that but the next day it looked like they eliana and her had a gay or lesbian situation popping because eliana's mood was completely different
I think the stakes are higher for what you can lose if you walk away. It is. You know what I'm saying? And it's making you work on yourself because it's like, yo, if you walk away now, it's your fault, Eliana. You can't look back and demonize me no more. That's why today I just... And Pete, what he said, you you have to listen to this guy to know that he is very much alert. He knows what he's doing. He's older. He's wiser. He knows what he's doing. He's a snake, which means he's he's very wise. And what he said is true. We say it all the time. You know what you're doing now. You can't demonize me. And that's what I've been preaching in the past. I, I know this from experience. If a woman keeps leaving a man when a man is cheating on her, but she comes right back when he calls... That takes her power away and her attraction to him dies down each time that she comes back that quick. Men loves, a man loves a challenge. I will not be talking like them. They love a challenge. So when a woman, women, tip. Let me just give you a tip. If you really believe in the guy, if he cheated on you and you believe in him, make sure that before you go back, make him show consistency of change. If he's not giving you what you need, then you shouldn't be going back. All you're going to do is look like a fool. You're going to be losing self-confidence and self-esteem. He's not going to find you that much attractive. And he's not going to respect you. That element of attraction and the power that you had over him is not going to be as strong. And he just told her that. He just told her that. When you leave, it's going to be your fault. And although he said it in a very charming way, he knows what the hell he's doing. Even the way he said it was very wise. He said it in a way because he still don't completely trust that she won't leave. But he know I got you. So he's going to say it in a very, uh, a, a very um, calm way. In a very seductive type of way. Or just a way that is a, a little bit softer. Softer. Then just come out right and say, you leave again, you're going to, you know, you're going to look bad. That's on you. That's not on me. No, he's going to uh, still appeal to her. She go because he does not know where she is, is mentally. It takes time. But this is the following day and Eliana is trying to work through it. But, you know, it's like after having an experience with somebody that you really didn't want to do, but alcohol had, had a lot to do with it, you don't feel that same lust anymore. Now reality sets back in. And if it's a woman-woman situation, you feel that guilt and shame. So, yeah, listen in. Just took the time and I was like, like I just need some How does that space. work for you? I just need some space. And at, at that moment when I um when I when I took some space to myself, because it's all And I wanna highlight this. M Malia <sighs> has demons and i'm not talking about debilitations i'm talking about entities spirits that that's around this girl she picks on people's faces pick in their nose pick in their ears make facial contortions those are all obvious signs if you are into if you know anything about demons and and i mean i've studied a lot of things i don't believe in them but I know they're real. Like I don't, I don't subscribe to Satanism. But I'm aware of witchcraft. I'm aware of spirits. There are real spirits. Just like you can see out of your eyes. There's things, there's existence that you can't see. And Malia has demons in her. And you will notice with her, she's she's uh, experiencing some of those outbreaks right now. She's picking on her face. She's she's making facial contortions. This is not normal. This is not normal behavior. And I want y'all from here on out, when you watch her, you watch her. You watch how she acts. You watch how her body starts to move contort. You see, it's like uncontrollable uncontroll spasms. That's demons. That's demonic. Also, in my Mercury that I need time. That's not the point. That's not the case. Like, go ahead. People, do you do your thing. I understand. You're gonna just build it. Have, you're gonna build it up. No, again. that's not what I'm saying. People, it's certain people are gonna be able to help me. Where you can't help me all the time. That's not a bad thing. Like Malia, she gonna she's gonna help me in certain areas that I need to develop in. And if you notice when she called her name, look, I look. Believe what I'm saying, cause I know what I'm talking about. When you, when she called her name, Malia. That's when she caught, caught her back. Because Malia, I'm telling you, this girl has demons. She's, she's allowed so, she subscribed to so much lust spirits. These are spirits. These people are possessed. 
Don't think you're going to dip and dab into lust and sin and you're not going to be taken over by demon spirits. Like this dude, Eligio, nature boy, he can't control himself. The spirits, the demons in him are so bad that he let a dog lick his thing. That is not normal human behavior. That is not normal human behavior. So like I pointed to her face. I wanted you to notice what I was talking about when I say facial contortions. But when Eliana said Malia, it's like calling her away from demons, calling her out of it, snapping her out of it by calling her name. And that's not going to be, if that was the case, it'll be all put on you and then you're going to be even more stressed out. So it's just like what you told me the other day, there's multiple particles of you in this environment that's able to help me in certain crises or at certain times. And what he's doing is he is trying to program these people. How can you dare? Like he's trying to program these people into believing that it's okay to open your pussy. I'm going to be graphic. Open up your vagina and allow anybody I put you with to go inside of you, hump on you. And that's disgusting if you're not attracted to that person. It's like rape. It's like sexual assault. But he is programming them so. If you listen to what Eliana is saying. There's multiple people. All of these people are me. That's bullshit. That's impossible. You are uniquely and created, created individually. There's no one like you. But he's making them believe a lie. Again, to, 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 to try to validate his belief system. He wants to, them to subscribe to his way of thinking so he can feel okay with himself. And so that it's on them. It's their responsibility. So just like Mariah who killed her mother, an ex-carbonation member... Yeah, he, he doesn't want that to go back to him. So he's basically allowing them, he's teaching them lies so that they will take on this information on their own. They're like an adult, adult makes adult choices. It's on you, it was your decision. Don't be mad at me. You got played, that's on you. That's what he does. Without you stressing yourself out or continuing to keep overextending yourself, you know, in that area like that. I think that that's... Granted, like the conversation that I just had just now mm. with the girls, um, Sheba and Aya, that wouldn't have been helpful to you because mm. that's that's not your lane. Like you, that's the woman's lane. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So it's a difference of the help that I get from them or from Malia than I would get from you. It's just a different dynamic to help me develop into the person that I'm supposed to be. And that is basically a little bit of demonstration of how they would interact with each other. Malia... Malia does not mind having sex with a woman and a man. She don't mind being passed around. Eliana's a little different. She does not like it. But she's forcing herself in order to be with him. Keep in mind, guys, that this was right after she came back. So you know everything is a party now. Let's see what happens to Miss Malia after Eliana gets a little comfortable with her dude. And he gets a little comfortable with her. Oh, did I just... Hold on, I just rewinded it. And, and if you can see Efferu, this is Nubian. He paired them up because his baby mama left. Look how uncomfortable and disgusted she looks because she was with another guy. And they tell you that it's demonic to feel sad, to feel disgust, to resist this type of change. I don't like you, but yet I have to be with you to please nature boy. Disgust. Shit, how did this happen? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, you said you said that. Wow. I heard through the green. This makes perfect sense. <laughs> well, um with caliber leaving and everything, I don't know, I just feel like that's very dishonorable and I feel like the mission is before everything and I know I'm solid and loyal. These are intelligent people and I know I'm stopping this video, but trust me it's it's needed okay because you probably don't know I'm, I'm skipping around so you can get an idea I know what I'm doing follow me okay hopefully you understand so caliber was the guy that she was with caliber left because people do have those moments those moments when they wake up and they realize this is not the journey that I signed up for this is not what I wanted you know so caliber left and I think she had feelings she developed feelings for caliber likewise he also developed feelings for her 
she's not happy with this guy she's next to. This guy she's next to, Nubian, he feels like he has to be alpha male because of the things you hear a nature boy in the background saying, sidebar, and, you know, with his things saying about Pisces, you know, show, put your arm around her, tell him. What, so Nubian wants to just show that, oh, you don't have to tell me. But, you know, it, it's just a matter of them making these choices and decisions. Again, it's not a spiritual empowering growth. This is not anything enriching your spirit here. This is basically teaching them how to be numb and how to prostitute themselves. How to sleep with multiple guys and feel nothing. You'll never conquer that because we as human beings, we were all created to be with one person. That's that's not going to be what a lot of you think. Um, they would argue that men were created for many women. There are 10 men to one woman. Let me say that again. There were there are 10 women to one man. But that does not necessarily mean that you should choose 10 women. In which situation does that work? You let me know how they developed and how that lasted. Okay? I'm not getting on anybody's beliefs. That's on you, you know? But to say that that's the right way and mon monogamous and the monogamy is wrong is BS because in this video Nature Boy talked about how he was now monogamous. This guy has changed his belief system so many times and he still has people that believe in him and they're all stupid, okay? You're all stupid by choice. And that's why I feel okay with calling you stupid because it's your choice. You don't have to be. You choose to be. And I feel like I deserve somebody who's loyal too. And um, I've been like noticing like, and I know what like me has been through. I got a haircut. <laughs> and um I don't know I just been like I told them like I was feeling his pain and I like wanted to hug him and I think he's cool and attractive so and I just felt the energy there so like that's how it happened Mm. That was good. That was good. Oh. I did not make this happen. I allowed it, but I did not make it. So let me go back a little bit because I said she was uncomfortable, which she looks very uncomfortable. But let me analyze that and listen. If she said he's attractive, which Nubian is attractive, he is to me. He's chocolate, but he hey, chocolate's attractive, honey. And you know, usually a lot of times, light skin and dark, they like each other. They attract one another. Um. I think that maybe it's possible Eferu is standoffish because she still feels like she belongs to Caliber. She still feels like she owes him respect. She feels like she's rebelling against him. And I know that feeling in some circum in some type circumstance. So I can kind of lean back and I can say, pause, maybe she do has some type of attraction to him. But I can also analyze that it could be she feels a little still feel a little bit inferior to caliber because she feels like that's who she should be respecting since she was just with him and he was just in that house too it happened i just thought it made so I, I just thought it made perfect by sense yeah by default it's cheese it was cheese <laughs> now nah, he's not with naza no more naza was somebody else she's 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 courting someone else courting how you feel about it no I'm pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I wasn't confident at first because, you know what I'm saying, Cali, but it's like, the way my man's moving, I feel like he missed out. You know what I'm saying? It's like cause and effect. And I know that I deserve. Ooh. I know that I deserve. I deserve the best. You feel me? And, and Nature Boy, all he want to do is instigate. He is a straight female. There's nothing masculine about Nature Boy. Nothing masculine about him. He wants to start issues, problems. You see how he said, ooh. Well, Nubian wasn't saying that as a disrespect. He was actually saying that as a respect. But he flips it because that's all he knows how to do is mess things up. He don't know how to build and reach. He don't know how to um, be the solution. All he knows is to be a problem. He's not good for anything. That's how he can instigate and flip that whole thing. Nubian said... He felt some type of way about it because that's his boy's girl. But he knows in order to stay in that group and have the respect, he's, whatever respect he gets from Nature Boy, he has to agree to deny himself of what's right, what's morally correct. Now I'm going to, this here's Malia. I want to really get to her since this focus is on her. Um, let's, let's try to move it down to where she is called out in some way. 
I'm going to try to move it down because this wasn't really about everybody else. All right, let's just start and see what's here. You like it? Oh, I don't like it. Hey, you don't like it? Nigel, you got to keep that one up if you like it. I do. Y'all need to break it. Hold it up. Thank you. Our eyes are both ways. Everybody pushing ones. They pushing ones, yo. They pushing ones, yo. We're going to get to that in a minute. Captain Trump. Chopping, Chop and Bambi. Chop and Pan. Malia. Pice. What's going on here, man? We have returned. We have returned. <laughs> and they both feel ashamed. Malia is looking down with a fake frozen smile. Pisces looking down. They don't feel right about what they're doing. Pisces knows and understands that Malia's feelings change. And I don't think as a man, he necessarily agrees with this situation. But because they are so stupid, they choose to be stupid. And they deny what's morally correct just to please one guy because they think he's God. He really got to their minds. These people were not initially stupid. They were in need of real spiritual development, healing in their lives. They really was looking for answers. They wanted to be good people. I believe that. But they got caught up in this lie. After a while, you can't give them the, you can't give them the honor of saying it's not their fault. It's your fault. So let's get back to the video. How you feeling about that? I can't hear you. I don't feel like good, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Are <laughs> <Nah>. you happy? <laughs> How about you, Malia? Holding back the tears. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna take it slow with myself because I know that that's I've been back and forth to you and him, and it's just wanna take it slow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before he flips, because this is the thing, guys. I have to break this down because there are so many jewels that you can't just bypass it. Malia is about to break down and cry. You could see that. She paused to hold the tears back to swallow the 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 lump in her throat. You know, she if you she thinks on it long enough and all attention's on her, she's can't she can't really hide the way she feels. She looks down to try to give her 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 agenda to hide her her emotions right now try to give her some strength by looking down you know try to encourage herself she's not happy with this and she's angry with this and that's why she said being pulled back and forth and but then she remember who he is who nature boy is if i really tell how i feel he's going to kick me out and he's going to degrade me so it's best that i just go along with this program deny my feelings lie to myself and tell myself that I'm not allowed to feel these things because that's how Babylonians feel. Although I know that's not right. I know that I am a human just as well as who I call Babylon. I'm human and I'm hurt. The other day you were kissing on me. The other day you were sleeping with me. The other day you was touching on me. You was promoting me. When Eliana was going the two weeks ago, you made me the one. You, you, you made me feel good and you made me feel special. I've been here before. You put me with this guy, Pisces, again. I finally got over those feelings for him. And I gave you my all because I trust you as my leader. And you, you will degrade me if I really tell how I feel in this moment. And I can tell you that's what she's, she's thinking. She'll never admit it until she leaves this group. Until she leaves, she'll never admit that I'm right. Why you look so sad about it though? Sad, Is it your pride? Perspective. Perspective. It's your pride. And this is the problem I have with him. And this is why I don't care if somebody lynched his ass. If y'all going to lynch somebody, why don't you fuck with the ones that deserve that shit? And I don't give a damn about who don't like what I said, okay? This guy is a fucking devil. And only a devil should be fucking lynched. He's a witch. And what did they do to witches? They cut their damn, they, they lynched them. Now, if you're going to do that to somebody, leave the ones that, 
I'm not talking about people uh, in the black community that make mistakes here and there. I don't care if they make mistakes because your ass makes mistakes too. You got criminal shit too that you've been, the systemic racism has held you up and hid you and, and took up for you. And, and got you a lot out of a lot of shit. But it's people like this that do in broad daylight. This woman is trying to answer your question. And what do you do? You don't want her to answer. Because her answering means that a lot of people right now are going to wake up. Because so uh, in order for him to stop that moment of them waking up and seeing the light. That this is wrong. He cuts her off and he says you're pride. It's not pride. It's humility. Humility is sitting here having to answer to you after what you did to me. After what I did to myself. That's humility. Being honest with yourself. Being honest with others about how you feel even though you know that's not what they want to hear. It's my pride. Because the world is looking at you and then it's your pride. Mm. But does the world matter? No, or does our world matter? Does carbonation world matter or does the outside world matter? You're supposed to be happy about what is going to be best for carbonation rather than what's best for what the world might think about you. But it's not what's best for carbonation. They was fine. It's what's best for Eliana. Don't bullshit me. Y'all people in that group, you got to wake up. Wake up, wake up. It's not what's best for carbonation. As a whole, all of them look miserable. Out of their mouth, they lie. They're lying out of their mouth is what I meant to say. Their faces, their body language. They're looking down, their shame, their embarrassment. The dude back here with Bambi, who they joke about, mock about her feet being big. Clown feet. They laugh at her. Why they, why? they are together. These two. He's looking away and down and not even next to her because he's not happy. So it's not what's best for carbonation. It's what's best for you and what you feel like doing right now. You feel like honoring Eliana. Okay, so your pride is a demon right now. Mm -hmm. And so you possess with a demon. But well, we just killed it, right? Mm -hmm. It is. Mom. Mom. My man. Okay. Good. Good. Kite. Kite. So I'm going to pause that because um, I'm not getting into all of them. I want to get into when the caller asks about Malia. So bear with me one moment while I find it. They not happy. They She's not even there. I don't know what she's on, but she can't even stay. I think she has, um, I think Niza has a sleeping disorder. Or she on dope. Let's get back to her. Pice, why are you on your phone right now? Were you watching us? Yeah, I can't see your you face. You look weird when you go like. <laughs> 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 He's trying to see her face on the front. <laughs> this nigga face is on the live so he can see your face. <laughs> Yo, Pice was watching the live to see her face. <laughs> What do you say to people that say that? What do you say? What do you say to people that say they feel bad for you being with him? Y'all do look alike. That shit kind of spooky. Yeah, you gotta watch this live over to see how much y'all look like. Or you can just look at the screen. I mean, is she struggling? She can't even answer the question. She's hurt. She's heartbroken. And she's angry. She's disgusted. She can't answer you and tell you that. She's in the between the legs of a man that she sees as a boy. At one time, she might have had feelings for him. I think they can develop again. But the confusion of switching spirits, since y'all are always talking about spirits, spiritual awakening, and she, you have to, you're going from one spirit, one world to another world, one world to another world, one, two different total worlds. The one she's attracted to denied her and rejected her and made her feel like 
she shouldn't be heard about it. And if she's, if she's heard about it, it's really a demon that she needs to get rid of quick or else get out. So you can either hurt quietly and pretend and, or, or leave. Like what type, of, what type of spiritual growth are you getting from that? In this video, I felt bad for her though. I did. I did because I, I more so related to her feelings because that's how the fuck I would feel. But I don't relate to her sitting back to keep taking it. I don't relate to that. So Hawaii, do you see again what you kick the fuck out of your land and you, you get all my applause for kicking these motherfuckers out of your land. Don't bring that shit to no land. Everywhere in this world should kick their asses the fuck out. And excuse me for speaking the way I am. Kick that out. Because they will come over and they will seduce and entice your men and your women. And usually they'll be young. This is a trap that they can't seem to free themselves from. Yeah. Look at the screen. It's really shit is scary. There we go. It's a mirror right here if you want to look at it. <laughs> you all don't know our life, so I... Uh, I can't make you understand it. They just want to know if you feel like, fuck that, no. Mm -hmm. Or are you okay with the transition? I'm okay. I'm not resisting my universe. If I resist it, then that's the pain. More pain. <laughs> so no, no. Someone said Pice and Neo should be together. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was funny. And that bitch back there with her ugly ass, fuck her. No, she not ugly, but the bitch look manly a little bit to me. She, ma I'm mad with her. So I'm going to disrespect you too, you stinking ass. He puts all that on. Take it off. You ain't that cute. You're not. You got eyes that are deep. Cancer eyes and shit. If you notice, cancers usually have those eyes since they're always talking about astrology. I understand that because, I, I mean, I like astrology here and there. It's interesting. But he thinks he's so cute. He's a fucked up individual. And that bitch next to him, she's fucking worse. She's a stupid bitch. I watched a video recently with her in closing this video out. I watched her in the comments. She was begging this dude while he was sleeping. Y'all seen it on Instagram. He was sleeping with, he had sex with Malia. He had sex with, um, what's her name? I can't damn it. Um, Aya. He had sex with Efru. I believe he has, I know he had sex with Aya and Malia in the dark on a video on instagram velvet witnessed all that she's been seeing the, when while she was gone this recent time she's been seeing those videos she's been seeing how he's been interacting with malia he's very attracted to malia he's very attracted to malia he likes aya but he's attracted to malia velvet's been seeing that so velvet's in the comments Begging him to call her. You're off of block. I need you. We need you. We need my. I need my family back. She's a desperate bitch. Malia, you got much power over her. All you have to do is leave. And stay going. Go on with your life. Heal from this. Forget this shit. Better yourself. Be with a man that looks better than him physically. More intelligent than him. And that loves you and will honor you. Go back and try to right your wrongs. You left your baby, baby. And leave. And I guarantee you that'll shake that whole household up. I guarantee you he won't be the same. He won't look at uh, Eliana the same. The reason why, this is my, my opinion, but I know from experience. The reason why he is empowered and he has this motivation to keep fucking you over, keep bringing Eliana back. And taking and throwing you back to Pisces, back and forth. As she leaves, you come back. He brings you in. As 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 Eliana comes back, he throws you away. The reason why he's empowered to do that is because you are giving him the thrill to do it. It's not fun anymore when people get tired of this shit and they done with this shit. The fun is gone. The thrill is gone. That's why, because Eliana plays the game, she leaves, she comes back. But now you're exposed, baby. I exposed you months ago. 
You leave so you can get his attention because you know that works. But it used to work. It don't work like that anymore. Like he just told you. It's on you the next time. What's going to happen is Eliana is going to do it again and keep coming back. In the middle of that, he's going to meet a badder bitch in his mind. Badder than Eliana. And he's not going to find her attractive. Her touch don't feel the same. Her insides feels stale and used up. He's not going to want her. And history repeats itself. The way he does not take care of his current kids, his three other children... That's the future of how he's not going to take care of your daughter with him. So you can try to play these games, smile and say you happy now. Come in and try to mess things up because you're so insecure. And you, want, you don't want to lose your position as his main side, bitch. Or you want to. But your day's coming. Because this guy's not going to change his, his colors. They run from being real. They run from being authentic. Because they feel as though people are judging, judging them. They feel as though people are looking at them, judging them and, and, and making fun of them. When in reality, being vulnerable, showing emotion is true strength. Because it's showing you the real you. It's showing you the authentic part of you. It's showing you who you are. It's showing you the realness in you. And you trying to run from that? You trying to run from you? You cannot run from you everywhere you go that you are.